going to uh, talk about the dragon scale stitch. Some people call it crocodile stitch. And uh, there's lots of things you can do with it. And there's variations on the theme. A friend of mine wanted um, a hood made from this pattern. Uh, let me take the camera up and over and show you what I made for her. This is the dragon hood. It's a pattern that you can purchase on Ravelry. The creator is Cynthia L. Green Designs. And it makes a very nice hood for ritual, for meditation. You can do any co color combinations this black, gray, and red. It's very nice. But since this one was made, I made one with uh, three shades of gold for someone who wanted a golden dragon. And um, this one here is the second one I'm making with this cookie. This is a lighter weight yarn, so I might have to do an extra couple of rows. But it's uh, Yarbo. The line is Cookie. And the colorways don't have names. This is 46218. <laughs> That's fantastic. I've made several things from this. I made a, a, a scarf, like a cowl, out of this. It was very nice. And the hood that I made from this sold so fast I couldn't even show it off to anybody. So I'm making another one. <laughs> All right, this particular pattern leaves the uh, ends of the scales loose. And that's why you get that kind of feathery look to it. Um, I found that if you want them to lay flat, for instance, I'm working on this one in three different colors of green. You see how you can do the colorways, right? You can change colors every row, or you can use a variegated yarn that changes the colors for you, or you can do it in blocks. But the, the back of the head is the color you start with, because the dragon scale stitch is done bottom to top, and backwards. <laughs> it's a little tricky. But once you get the hang of it, it's like anything else. But you want these to lay a little flatter? I have a trick. Use a dryer sheet. A dryer sheet is just a sheet infused with fabric softener, really. And if you wipe them, not only does it cause the scales to lay flatter, it also smells nice too. And it um, softens the yarn just a little bit. So even after you make your hood, if you want to do that before you wear it, then your scales are going to lay down a little bit better. See, this is the way it was before. There's nothing wrong with this if you like your scales all feathery. That's fine too. But it's easy enough to wipe them. It's like magic. Let me 
they lay down quite nicely after that. <laughs> so that's a trick. A little trick, so I'm making that green hood. Okay. Another variation when you're using when you're doing the dragon scale, if you if you want them to lay flat like this, like this piece, then you tack each tip to the row before it, actually two rows before it, because this is one row, two rows, three rows, and this tip is tacked here. See, so now they're always going to lay flat. This pattern is for a dragon shawl. I'll show you that. This is a cottontail, cottontail whispers, dragon scale shawl, and let me line him up there so you can see him. There he is. And that got the head and everything. So that's quite involved. I've made several of these. They're very well received. So those are two patterns that you can, that I have personally made, that I would recommend if you want to do something with the dragon scale. Well, let's get all this out of the way and show you how this is done. Goodbye. Let me grab some plain color yarn so that you can see this, the scales a little bit better. I'm just going to grab, actually, I'm going to grab this. It's not plain, but it's a long colorway, a long color change. Okay, you'll be able to see. Now this dragon scale hood you it the pattern calls for an eye. A size I and that's what I used for the red gray and black one but I like to use an H so that the scales are a little smaller I just seems better to me and it fits better on my head probably depend on what size you need it to begin with um, each of those scales probably takes an inch, right? So you can you could measure your head all the way around at the like right above your eyebrows. And if you if your head is 22 inches around, then you're going to need 11 rows of scales. So you can kind of get an idea of uh, how how many rows sizing the hood to different sizes. So you can make a children's size, or you can make a large head size, whatever. But the the original pattern calls for sixty three, a chain sixty three. So. I'm just going to chain a few to show you the stitch itself. I'll let the color change. This is a nice color change. I think, let's see the name of this. The name of this colorway is Cinnamon. I like it already. Cinnamon. And the it is the, it's from Michaels, Craftsmart from Michaels. 
And this, is, this yarn's a little thicker, so the scales are going to come out a little bigger. Before I go any, any farther, I want to go down and see if there's any comments. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Stacy's here, and Angie's here, and Debbie Fisher's here that I know of. I'm going to keep it down here so I can see what you're, if you're saying anything. Because when I look at just the picture, it just says one person's watching. But I got three people commenting, so I'm going to keep going. Anyway, so you're going to chain three and then put a, ha a double crochet in the next stitch. All right. So for all intents and purposes, this is two double crochets. Okay. Now you chain two, skip two, and do two double crochets, but do it in the same stitch, not in the next stitch. Two double crochets in the same stitch. Chain two, two double crochets in the next stitch. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets in the next stitch. See how that's going? And your, your dragon scales are going to go in every other one of these, so you're going to have, you're going to need a odd number. So when you do your practice, uh, just do an odd number of these two double crochets. Easy peasy so far. If you can chain and double crochet, you can do this. As long as you remember to skip two chains. I know what you're saying. Alba! Alba! Those are more stitches. You're 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 making too many stitches. Ah, uh, bear with me. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> this dragon scale stitch is a yarn burner. It's going to go through your yarn quick. All right. Can you say the Ravelry design you're using again? Sure. The Ravelry design I'm using is the Dragon Hood by Cynthia L. Green Designs. The Dragon Hood. Dragon Hood. Let's see how many I got now. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, you've got the correct number of two double crochet clusters going across, and you've got a space between each one, two stitches top, two stitches bottom. Right? Now you're not going to turn. You're not going to turn because the dragon scale stitch is made all from the same side. You're just going to work backwards now. It's fun. And your the points of your dragon scales are going to be in the bottom. So remember, you're starting from the back of your hood. So on that hood, I started with the black. If you're just using a solid color, that won't matter so much. But you got to think about where you want your colors to land before you start. 
All right, so this is the foundation row. Now you chain three. You see how I'm holding it? Kind of holding it vertically. You're going to put five double crochets on that double crochet post right there. You're going to go. Your chain three will count as one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now you're going to chain three and do a pico. The pico is going to be the tip of your dragon scale. That's because these dragon scales are left free. If you were going to attach it to the row before, I mean, you wouldn't do that yet, you're on the first row, but in later rows, then you just chain one, slip stitch to tack it down, chain one, and turn. and do five double crochets in the pair in that other double crochet that's in that same stitch. So you got a pair of double crochets. You're working down one and up the other. And there is your first dragon scale. And see, it's, it's the point of the scale is toward the bottom of your work. Looks like a little heart, doesn't it? Okay. To do the next one, you chain one and skip a set of these posts. Skip that because this scale will cover one half and the next scale will cover the other half. So that's how you get alternating scales. See. So you skip this one that will behind be behind the scale and you go to the next one. You find that first post and then you do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now make your pico. A pico is a point. I think it's French for point. One, two, three, and slip stitch into the first chain. Then turn your work and go back up that second double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. See there? Now you've got these dragon scales. Put it down on the table got these two dragon scales and between the two of them they're hiding that set of double crochets that we skipped. But that set of double crochets will, will be worked into when we do the next scale, next row of scales. Okay, so chain one, skip, Skip these two, right? And into the next set, the first one, you go down five double crochets. One, two, 
three, four, five. Pico, one, two, three. Slip stitch into the first chain. Turn your work and go back up. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Very nice. Two more will take us to the end of this. Chain one. Skip a set. Five double crochets. Pico. Oopsie. Turn your work. Go back up the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Chain one. Skip the next set. In the last set, one, two, three, four, five, pico. And get that last, that's the chain three that we made. That's going to serve as your last double crochet. You're going to do five double crochets right up there at the end. And there. You have your first row of dragon scales. Now for all the rest of the rows, you're going to make that foundation row and then you're going to go back the opposite way and do the scales. If you want to increase, and that's what you're going to be doing if you do the dragon hood, you're actually going to have 11 of these scales. And then you're going to increase and then go straight okay so to increase so that the next row we have one two three four five scales for our next row to have six scales and be a little bit wider then we just start right on the edge here we chain three and do a double crochet right into that stitch. So we have two double crochets on the end of this last scale. Then you chain two and do two double crochets right in the middle of the scale. Right in that space. If you can picture it, you've got a double crochet and a double crochet that these five stitches are on. And you're doing two double crochets right in the middle there. Then you chain two. Now here's your two double crochets from the first row, right? Put your finger right through there and find it and pick up that the, the, uh, the chain that's between the two scales and right in there do two double crochets. 
right in there. So chain two, two double crochets in the center of the scale, chain two, two double crochets in the center of the previous set on the foundation row. So it's two in the center and two between. Two in the center. Oh, I'm getting a nice orange now. I like this. I found this when I was looking for variants of gold. I was like, oh man. I need more yarn like I need a hole in the head, but I'm going to buy this anyway. Okay. Two double crochets in the center of the scale. Chain two. Two double crochets in the center of the previous set. Chain two. Two double crochets in the center, chain two, and then right on the end, see this is this is where you started your first scale, one, two, three chains, where you did that chain three. Put two double crochets right in the top, chain three. So now you have a row that looks very much like that first row, except it's got two more sets of the double crochet cluster, which means you're going to get an extra scale. And then you just go back the way you came. One, two, three, five double crochets. Pico, turn it, five double crochets back, and there you go. Now you see how it sticks out half a scale, half a scale wider than the first row. That's going to be on this side too, so you're going to get a whole scale wider. So the first row had five scales, your second row will have six. And then if you keep doing that, it'll have seven, and then eight, and then nine. Now it comes a point where um, you don't want to uh, increase anymore. Well, let's see. Let's take this all out. Frog, frog, frog. Ooh, it's so therapeutic to frog. Don't you love it? <laughs> all right. Say you were here and you did not want to increase, okay? did not want to increase. You wanted this to stay the same. Maybe you're making a tote bag or something and you just want five and then four and five and four and five and four. That's what you want. Or just five all the way up. Do your chain three, but don't put another one here. Just do the second one here in the middle. Okay, so now for all intents and purposes, you have one set of the two double crochets. Yeah, it's a little wonky, but you'll never know because it will be behind the scale, right? So then you chain two and then do two in the next one and all the way across. like we did. Same way. So this way when you come back this way I 
when you come back your scale will be in this one because remember we do the scales alternating so your scale from this row will be between these two and you'll just tack the end to here okay. you'll just tack that end to here let me let me show you you want to do the scale here so just do it just chain one here not three because you're not going to make a scale here it's on top of that one you want your scale to be here so you make your scale here one two three four five and you make your pico and you do one two three four five and then you're just going to slip stitch into this and you'll have you'll have one two three four on that row and then the next row you'll have five because you'll you'll do two here chain two to here and you'll have one right here above this one and you'll have we will not have one here you'll have one in here oh. here which is two rows above this one so that's basically, I think, all the ins and outs of the dragon scale stitch. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> Let me refresh and see if anybody said anything else. No? Okay. I hope uh, if you try this or something else, oh let me let me see if I can show you how you would tack it down, that's another thing, <coughs> excuse me, alright, <coughs> now if I wanted, instead of leaving this free, I wanted to tack it down. I would do my chain three and do my five double crochets All right. then I would chain one and then I would look here so this is the scale that it would that it's above so instead of the pico I would just put a slip stitch right in here and then chain one again and turn and do my five double crochets up it kind of pulls it down into an arrow shape you get more of a, a spear than a heart All right. but it stays when they're all tacked down like that then it stays like this one. Kind of makes a fabric out of it. Which is nice, but there is a call for having the feathery look. It all just depends on what you are going for in your dragon hood.
or dragon shawl or dragon tote bag. So give it a try. It's a lot of fun. And it uses up a lot of yarn. So be ready for it. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for paying attention. <laughs> and if you have any more questions, you can just uh, put them in the comments and I will answer them if I can. And uh, stay crafty. All right. Have a great day.